good morning guys finally got my fluffy butt hut sign up everyone is waiting patiently to get outside this morning <laughs> everyone but you who wants to try and sneak outside all right there you go out you go get out there There's an order. There's a pecking order. Do you guys see? Whoa, be careful up there. Most of these chickens that are still inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, are our babies that we raised up. They're doing really well in the flock. Some of them are even the bullies of the flock. But they're always the last ones to go outside. But they're kind of smart because they spend all their morning eating the food and then they go outside after when the other ones come in. I keep three feeders in here. This one, this thing here is a feeder. They have to put their head in and they like it least. And then the, that bowl over there, I fill up every morning and then have an orange bowl in the corner back there that's full of food. I do that because they are my family and family means nobody gets left behind. I learned that a couple years ago that that's what ooh, Ohana means. Ohana means family and family means nobody gets left behind. And it always makes me feel bad in a herd or a flock or whatever when somebody doesn't get to eat as much as they would like to because other people are hoarding it. It is hot out, it's early and it's hot. So I think I showed you guys yesterday that Sam cut down all this field. So we have the round ring and then we have this ring. Maybe we should do lessons today in the round ring. That might work. Anyways, so Sam cut the grass in this field and I used to be one of those people who always liked clean orderly things and now I'm finding it in myself to see the beauty in messy places like this section over here it's messy and it is the most beautiful spot on my farm to me I love it it keeps the horse the goats out of the rain and out of the sun also I learned that this is a milking stool I had no idea I almost burned this but hello Go ahead, out you go. Go babies, go. There's my boy. <laughs> so somebody said, make sure we give Ollie lots of attention so he doesn't, so he always comes home. That is one thing we definitely do. We treated him with his monthly uh, flea and tick medicine. Ow, don't bite me, he bites. But he doesn't bite to be mean. He bites to get attention. He always wants more attention. So yesterday the vlog was kind of short. I don't know if you guys noticed. But the reason it was short is because Sam and I spent the whole entire night down here. I was panicked about raccoons. I don't know how I forgot about raccoons. I was so worried about our duck and our goose the night before that I panicked and we came down and we did some retrofitting to our barn. So this is it now. So I don't know if you guys can see but we put hardware cloth all over this whole thing. Like nobody can get in from the roof. Uh, we have chicken wire on this side and then we have hardware cloth on the other side. I'll show you from the inside. So double whammy again, chicken wire with hardware cloth and then just hardware cloth on this side. Goes all the way up to the roof, all the way up there so that nothing can get in. And then my friend suggested we put wood, so we did put wood. So we put the wood here because this was flimsy and I knew that a raccoon could just go right through it. And so we put the wood here so that we could secure it so that it would be strong and we can just open the door. So I felt so much better sleeping last night. I slept all night thinking you guys were gonna be safe and secure and even though we did all that work, like it was hours of work and it's awful working with that hardware cloth because it, it pricks you. I'm still nervous, but I feel a lot better than we did before. Sophie and I come down every single night when we put the animals to bed and we just spend so much time out here, like so much time just hanging out with them and, and sitting with them. We sit with all three of our animals. 
all three sets of animals that we have down here. Come on, you guys ready to come out? Come on. Come on. Listen, you guys need to go away. Go away because I'm trying to bring the duck and the goose out. Hi, babies. This is, ah, 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 this is duck food. Go. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm gonna need help. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to stay there till I get Sophie. So yesterday, Gabby and Sophie both had lessons in a halter class in setting horses up. And it was really hard, something they've never really done before. And it didn't go awesome. I'm gonna probably have that video already posted for you guys. When you're not good at something or something is new to you, the only way to get better at it is to practice. So today, Sophie's gonna have a lesson, another lesson on the same thing. We're hoping to have lessons at 10 before the rain is supposed to start at noon. But I don't know where I should get ready. Like, what? where should we do this? I wanna take some chairs and set them up. Yesterday when we had a lesson, there were weeds, prickly weeds, that upset the, that bothered the girls. So I'm gonna try and get those cut down, but I think we need bigger space in the round pen to do this lesson. This have got this grass eaten down, but their weight is all still really good. Stop following me. I'm trying to put the camera down and she just keeps following me. Have you ever done last a last minute Lucy? Do you know what a last minute Lucy is? It's when, Oh my gosh, how are you expecting her to go with you? She always goes with Sophie. <laughs> She's like, what do you want to do? Anyway, I tried to come out here and cut down all the prickles in this field so that when Sophie has her lesson, she's not running through prickles because that's annoying. And then, as soon as she hears Sophie's name, it's the same for Sophie, it's the same for Gabby and Storm. He just followed her into that field. All she did was walk in front of him. But this baby is the same with Sophie. They love who they love. <laughs> Such a good baby. Like you're, 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 it's all. All right, so now I think we're ready. This is where we're gonna ride again. Sometimes I just feel so rushed and run ragged that I don't know if I'm coming or going. That was easier than yesterday. They're getting used to this, being locked away. I think it is a pony. She's getting gray hairs on her. I know, she's an old girl. Yeah, how old is she, like 20? Yep, 20. She still has the energy as like a five year old. She does. So Sophie just had a lesson yesterday and her getting her to stand is her hardest thing. So we're hoping that the trainer today, it's a different trainer. So we're hoping today that she gets, like she has more practice with the trainer watching her so that she can Your back foot, figure it out. The right behind is never supposed to move. Yeah, but her back foot is not. So remember, she said, if you want them to raise their front feet. Stand, stand, stand. Good girl. Good That's baby. it. She's supposed to face forward, but baby steps. She's supposed to keep her head facing forward, not off to the side. She's learning. I know, that's why I said baby steps. I, I enjoy the journey of learning. I love seeing, and unless you watch, unless you see where you came from, you'll never be able to see where you've come, where, how far you've grown. You have to be able to watch the trying and the learning to be able to see when you succeed. It's hard, because I have to go like this to see all her feet. Yeah, because she's little. There we go. Stand. Stay. So I would praise her now. Good girl. So it'll be Sophie's very first halter class. So no judging. We're gonna fail. <laughs> She's. It doesn't matter if you if fail. If I'm running, I'm gonna fall. On my no, you're not gonna fall. But here's the thing. It for her first class, she's gonna go there. She's gonna watch everybody else. She's gonna see what everybody else is doing. She's gonna be able to talk to the judge. She's gonna get feedback, to and it's gonna help her to improve. And I don't want to. Um, and I want to just remind you guys that Willow sat in the field for 15 years. 15 years with hardly any interaction. She was a brood mare. She had five babies. Stand. She has. Stand. 
There, that's perfect. Good girl. See how fast she learned that though? Good. She had five babies and she hardly had any interaction. And then a friend of ours bought her to get her out of the field and spent yeah. a year with her, teaching her to accept contact. And then we got her. This little mare has come a long way from standing in a field and giving birth for 15 years. And this is gonna be her very first show and we're really excited. So I got the lesson time wrong. So we're just hanging out in the field with these two best buddies. It's incredible how thyroid issues will make you lose weight. Like I could use a, th I could use a thyroid issue about now, right about now. It's nice to see him out here walking with Gabby though, because he loves to just be out here and be with his friends. I don't know if I, I think I did tell you guys that I asked the vet if we can start giving him thyroid medication now because it's hard to see him like this. And the vet said that until he gets his insulin levels back, he doesn't want to. He said that the drug, thyroid drug is very powerful and that if you don't have all the information, like his insulin levels, he needs all the information before he can get the dosage. And the, it's a really powerful drug, so he needs to be able to give him the right dosage. Tell me you're a farmer without, without telling me you're a farmer. Oh. All the hay. <laughs> <laughs> Let the weekend rains begin. We are headed home and it is about to pour. It is a busy weekend for us, you guys. We're preparing. We're preparing now for this weekend. We have grandkids and horse shows and so much going on. I just came into the barn and nobody's in here. Sophie's supposed to be in here and I see Molly <laughs> stuck in the arena. What were you doing? We decided that this uh, after this weekend we're gonna open up this field and let the horses go out there and graze in another field we're gonna open up another field <laughs> I know she's adorable she likes going through this part I know she <laughs> go with your friends <laughs> it poured rain so what I like about this footing inside this part of the barn look at it poured rain and this part of the barn got wet and it doesn't turn to mud like it barely even absorbs water. Isn't that cool? So it doesn't, it doesn't clump up and turn to mud. But then down here, just outside the shelter, it's more muddy, more mud-like, but still not horrible. So, so we had a lesson today and I wasn't able to film it because her coach, I didn't want to put the coach on camera, so, we, so I didn't film it. The coach was in the field working alongside Sophie and helping her learn stuff. So she's going to show you a couple things that she learned. So she's doing a halter class and we really wanted her to do a showmanship class as well. So the coach um, showed her some tricks on how to band her hair. So we're going to band her hair. I have to cut it first. Yeah, she has to cut it. She said that she needs her to have way less forelock. I think right here. Let me see. Oh, I think, yeah. Or maybe a little bit. No, don't take off more. Anyway, then she showed us, so she has to give her more of a, and all the way back to here. So she has to take off her, what's that called? Bridal path. She wants her to take off all this for her bridal path. Forelock. Oh, her forelock and back here for ear, ear length. Um, we found she's yeah, going to be yeah. using the, probably this leather halter or another one that our coach has. She's going to be dressing very specific. So Sophie's going to show us a little demonstration Honey of... Honey hasn't heard us yet. What? Honey hasn't heard us yet. Honey doesn't know we're here. Honey! Shh. Okay. So show us how you... What's it called? Make her stand properly. And her front feet. Good girl. And then how do you hold her head? Oh, shoot. Stand. So that's how she's going to stand. Pony. Yeah, good girl. And then, and, oh, oh, Sam hung up a brush for the horses. I didn't even see it. Wow. And I got like her back legs out a little bit 
farther? Yeah, so... So then she actually, like, stood up correctly? Yeah, so the coach said that if you're doing a horse, you want their legs, their back legs to be exactly... Here. Square or whatever. Um, but if it's a mini, it's okay if her back feet are a little tiny bit out behind her. And we got... So like, Sophie's going to be wearing a whole... She's, she's doing a Western. She stood up like that, and she actually, like... Yeah, she learned that. All right, well anyways, that's a little bit just to show you guys. It's gonna be a totally different kind of show, something we've never done before. Sophie's gonna be dressed in Western stuff. And she like explained so many things to us. Like I actually got chills, like just thinking about how Sophie's learning something completely new. Um, she thought Gabby should take Storm. Storm is so good at it. He's done it before with his old owner. And we did it like a lesson yesterday with Storm. If you guys had a chance to see it. Um, hopefully I get it posted. First time was just like a casual lesson to get us used to what is required. And then we had like a more serious lesson this time. But it is gonna be fun. And I like it that you're able to, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? <laughs> her hair is so messy. I thought I would put her hair in a ponytail every single day. And I do nine times out of 10, but every once in a while, I just don't have time in the morning. And today was one of those days because we had early lessons. So someone asked if these uh, fly traps work. They absolutely work. I'll show you. He just hung it up. See those black things in there? You can't see in there. But there are a bunch of flies in there. A bunch of flies in there. And that bag will fill up completely. Yeah, that looks really good. So this amount? It's scary to cut off that much. Oh my gosh. Keep it. <laughs> Wait, why is it so thick? Oh my goodness. That's so sad. She told us so many tips and so many tricks and what she has to wear and how Willow has to be outfitted. So Sophie's, Sophie's going to wear her very first ever Western shirt. This is going to be her very first Western type show. Like it's, it's, you can do this, showman, you can do a halter class in English or in Western. Sophie's choosing to do it in Western. She plans to show in Western this summer, like in fairs that are coming up at the end of the summer. But anyway, this sweet girl is gonna have her very first show ever, and I cannot wait. Don't you know that you're beautiful?